Hello there Science Kids! Welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade for Science Learning Activities. Kayo ay nasa ikatlong linggo na ng inyong pag-aaral sa inyong mga tahanan. Kaya naman ako ay narito upang kayo ay gabayan sa inyong pagkatuto. My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new episode para sa Grade for Science Activities. Science Learning Episode Changes in Solid Materials In our last science episode, you have learned the ability of the materials to float and sink. For a quick review, let us identify these materials whether they float or sink in water. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number 4 and number 5. Wow! Answering whether materials float or sink in water has been quite easy for you. Always remember that when materials sink in water, it means to fall to the bottom of water. When materials float, it means the things stay on top of the water. Let us now move forward to our next science lesson which is entitled, Changes in solid materials. Solid materials are objects which have their own property or characteristics. You have learned in your previous grade level about the three states of matter. Para ma-refresh mo ang iyong idea about three states of matter, you can click on the link below this video to understand better what is matter and its three states. When we say property or characteristics, it means quality or trait belonging to an individual or thing. Or in Tagalog, ito yung katangi ang taglay ng isang bagay. Solid has definite or certain space occupied called volume. Or in Tagalog, ang solid ay mayroong sarili o tiyak na espasyong taglay na tinatawag nating volume. Another property or characteristic of a solid material is that it has its definite or certain shape, size, color, and texture. Or in Tagalog, ito ay may sariling laki, kulay, hugis, at tekstura. Lastly, it is a material that retains its size and shape even without a container. Or in Tagalog, ito ay isang bagay na nananatili sa kanyang laki at hugis ng walang kinakailangang lalagyanan. Lahat ng bagay sa ating paligid na may nabanggit na ganitong katangian o property ay may tuturing nating solid materials. Now that you have learned that solid materials have their own properties or characteristics, we can now observe the changes that solid materials undergo. Now, let us examine this piece of paper. The size of this paper is 8 inches by 11 and a half inches. The shape of this paper is rectangle. The color of this paper is white. And lastly, its texture is smooth. Now, can you think of different ways to change the properties of this paper? Ano-anong mga paraan ang naiisip mo? This solid material can be changed through many ways. We can cut it, tear it, twist it, fold it, Crumple it, bend it, color it, and press it. For example, when we crumple this paper, magbabago ang texture nito from smooth to rough. When we cut it or tear it, magbabago naman ang shape or size nito. Kung ito naman ay kukulayan natin, magbabago ang color nito. Therefore, ang property ng isang solid material ay nagbabago depende sa kung anong proseso ang pinagdaanan nito. In our today's lesson, we will focus on describing the changes in solid materials when they are bent, pressed, hammered, or cut. Let us now first unlock the terms that you need in understanding this concept. Number one is malleability. Malleability is the capability of a material 
to be hammered into thin sheets or change its shape by hammering. Or in Tagalog, ito ay ang katangian ng isang bagay na mabago ang kanyang hugis sa pamamagitan ng pagpukpuk dito. For example is ang tansan. Ang tansan ay maaari nating mapanipi sa pamamagitan ng pagpukpuk dito gamit ang martilyo. Katulad ng example na ito. Next is brittleness. Brittleness is the capability of a material to be easily broken, cracked, or snapped. Or in Tagalog, ang brittleness o pagiging malutong ay ang katangian ng isang bagay na madaling maputol, magkalamat, o mabiyak sa dalawa. For example, ay ang Crayola na ito. Ang Crayola na ito ay example ng isang brittle object because madali itong mag-crack, maputol, o mabali sa dalawa. Lastly, we have Ductility. Ductility is the ability of a material to have its shape change without breaking or losing its strength. Or in Tagalog, ang ductility ay katangian ng isang bagay na mabago ang kanyang hugis nang hindi ito nasisira o nawawala ang strength o tibay na may iroon ito. For example ay ang copper. Ang copper ay pwede nating gawing copper wires nang hindi ito nasisira o napuputol at ganun pa rin ang tibay na taglay nito. Now, let us proceed to our experiment time. Here are the materials that we are going to use in this experiment.
Here are the key points of this activity. Number one, some solid materials can be changed through many ways. It could be by cutting, hammering, pressing, or bending among others. Pero hindi lahat ng ito ay applicable o kayang gawin sa lahat ng solid materials to change its properties. Number two, some of these actions can change the material's size, shape, color, and texture, and other properties, but there is no new material formed after doing this. Lastly, some of the materials can be considered ductile, malleable, or brittle. That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe to stay notified sa ating susunod na videos. See you again next week. Bye-bye!